Greetings, boys, girls, and gender rebels. I'm Penny Underbust, and you are joining me today for another one up box unboxing and giveaway video. Uh, for rules of the giveaway, look down in the description box beneath this video. Um, I have a few things to say first. Uh, I also have an affiliate link down in the description box. Um, I'm not technically sponsored, I'm not paid to make the video, but I do get a small cut if you sign up for the box after using my link down below. So I would like if you did that, but um, you know, no pressure or anything. It'd just be rad and it'd help, but eh, only if you're excited by the things and would like to get the things yourself. One hour later. Let's find out what's in the box. So I just went to Facebook and asked my friend Meredith, AKA the Meerkat, I'll put her channel down in the description as well, who this was. And apparently it's someone called The Vision, who is from, uh, I guess he was made by Ultron and he's part of the um, Avengers Age of Ultron movie franchise thingy. Um, I, yeah, it's incredibly cute. And look at his tiny little grumpy face. I'm not the, the most experienced person with comic books, um, and I think I've had a hard time admitting this to the public because it's one of those like, ah, oh, fake nerd, fake nerd doesn't know comics, and it's like, yeah, just fucking ask me about a high fa political high fantasy, ask me about Robin Hobb, I'll talk your goddamn ear off. <laughs> My area of nerdery isn't the most conventional in that I just never really got into superheroes that much. And don't get me wrong, I did read a lot of comic books growing up, but I read um, Asterix and Obelix, and I read Bone. Like, things that aren't necessarily conventional, not DC and Marvel. So I have, um, judging from this, I'm gonna have a hard time knowing who everyone is. And that happens, and I'm sorry, but now you know more about me, and I shared my deep, dark, evil nerd secret with you all. I mean, I know who Wolverine is, I know who fucking Harley Quinn is. I actually really like Harley Quinn, like I, but it's because she's from a cartoon, and I love cartoons. Two hours later. I just don't know, I just don't know anything about him. He has a pretty cape, it's satiny. Ooh, so pretty. And um, actually, I, I'm, I'm gonna, hold it up and see if you can see this but he actually has like his stitching is like almost embroidery to I'm get I'm guessing emulate his suit and the way that his suit fits which seems like a lot of detail to put into a plush like yeah the back of his his head also sort of like embroidery to give that sweet sweet helmet details plus he's like a bright pink and bright blue which is very appealing um really cute I just don't know who he is Oh, sorry. All right, next up we have a sticker that is super cute. It's Jack Sparrow, of course, doing a, doing a little bit of Hamlet. To be or not to be, that is the question. Uh, very cute. We have a lanyard with Avatar The Last Airbender characters. Something really bothers me about lanyards. Um, I understand why they do it. It's so it sits on the back of your neck and can sit flat on your chest, but I hate the way that you can't, like, get them even. It, it vexes me in ways that I cannot express. This is the best way I can think of to show you the characters. That guy's the leader of the Fire Nation. That's all the information I have about Avatar. It started hitting my microphone so I couldn't keep doing it, but it just repeats after him, I'm pretty sure. Wait, no, it also has that tiny angry kid who I can't remember his name, but he was cute. Okay, so I think I'm gonna do the shirt next and save the last thing to last because there's something really nifty in here that I haven't seen in a one-up box before. And I'll save that till the very last thing. So we have a shirt. Um, one-up box does like a like a mix-up, mash-up, a mash-up of fandoms with their t-shirts every month. So they'll like do themes. Like this one is uh, the the theme is action, and it's gonna have a few different characters on it. Yeah. It's Aang and Jack Sparrow and Groot. This is a women's extra large. So if you're gonna join in the giveaway on this one and you happen to be size women's extra large and you like this t-shirt, then good news. And the last thing in this box, 
which I don't know how I'm going to be able to show it off properly, but it is a Guardians of the Galaxy watch. It's got like a white band, a little metallic clasp, and then just a bunch of chibi versions of the Guardians of the Galaxy characters. And it's really fucking cute. Look at that Gamora. Look how cute she is. Super, super cute. I like doing giveaways when I get these one-up boxes just because I'm a little bit of a hoarder and I know that if I don't give things away, I will end up just basically keeping them in the hopes that one day I'll have like a perfect use for the item. And to be honest, I just, I already have so much nerdy swag. I lived in Japan for four years. You have no idea how many freaking amazing little vinyl figurines I picked up while I was there and they're just sitting in a box. So basically I do a giveaway with these simply <laughs> to not feed my own habit of just gathering and hoarding nerdy stuff. Um, like I said at the start of the video, descriptions of how to join the giveaway are down in the description box underneath this video. Um, if you want to help me and my channel out, please feel free to sign up to, for the su subscription box yourself using my link. And uh, also you could check out my Patreon. I never know how to plug things. I don't, I, I swear you can all tell how awkward this whole bit is for me, but uh, um, yeah, that's, that's as much of a spiel as I feel even capable of doing. And um, hopefully you can all understand based on how uncomfortable I am anytime I try to sell things that I really am telling the truth when I say that. And it's not just, Sales and then hype and all that crap. So yeah, from the bottom of my little black heart, thank you so much for joining me, everybody. And I'll see you next time. <gasps> Goodbye. Way, way back in the 1980s, secret government employees dug up famous guys and ladies and made them using genetic copies. Now the clones are sexy teens now and they're gonna make it if they try. Sharing, learning, caring, judging, time to laugh and shiver and cry. Clone high, clone high, high. I'm just rewatching Clone High at the moment whilst I do makeup and stuff before videos because it's like good background noise because I've seen it like 50 gajillion times. But I like including goofy little things after the video is finished just for no reason, just for myself because I think that's funny. And um, I thought very seriously singing their theme song would, would do well. And uh, yeah, that's my whole spiel. Why? <laughs> Clone High is really good, by the way. <laughs> <laughs>